In today's group session, we discuss our devotion to reading the Bible and prayer. Reading your Bible and praying each day is a relational habit and not a religious duty. They are habits that we put in place in order to enjoy and grow in our relationship with God. Let me start by asking you this question. Who do you want to become? Imagine yourself 10 or 20 years from now. Who do you want to be then? What kind of person or Jesus follower would you like to be then? Now, we've all met people in our lives and thought to ourselves, one day I want to be like him or like her. Spiritually, who is that person for you? Your spiritual hero that you would like to become like? Now, I knew a man, Uncle Andy. Now, Uncle Andy was a spiritual giant. He was never in full-time ministry or a pastor or anything like that. He sold insurance. He was just a follower of Jesus. But man, was he a passionate follower of Jesus. He loved Jesus so much, it was contagious. It just rubbed off from him and onto other people. I remember the one day sitting over a cup of tea with him and my wife and just talking about normal stuff. But afterwards, my wife and I, we were so excited about God. We just wanted to go and have time with God right away. His love and passion for Jesus was contagious. Have you ever been in someone's conversation that you got so excited about God that you become more hungry for God? Imagine being so full of God that it just rubs off from you and onto other people. That's who I want to become one day. One day when I'm big, I want to be like Uncle Andy. But what I remember so clearly about that time that Uncle Andy stayed over at my house was one of the first things he wanted to know was where he could have his quiet time the next morning. His time of reading the word and praying, he called it his quiet time. But there was nothing quiet about it. Whenever he was traveling, his greatest concern was where he would spend time with the Lord the next morning. He once stayed over at my friend's house. And after being in the car the whole day, having a, a quick cup of coffee, he excused himself from the conversation and told my friend, I'm desperate for a quiet time. You see, daily time with God was a priority for him. It was a habit for him that he could not go without. So no wonder when you speak to Uncle Andy, a love for Jesus just rubs off on you. It is not difficult to make the connection that the reason why he was so full of God and so passionate about Jesus was because he spent time with God daily. He was filling himself up with the truth and the love of God each day that it just started to pour over from him. If you spend time with someone, they will start rubbing off on you. If you spend time with God, he will start rubbing off on you. We know because of the finished work of Jesus on the cross that we have God's presence with us always. Through the Holy Spirit, God has come and made his home in us and he's with us always. But there is something to scheduling time to read your Bible and to study Jesus and to talk to him in a dedicated time of prayer. This strengthens our relationship with him. It helps us to live in the reality of his presence each day. It is just like a husband that schedules a date night with his wife to strengthen their relationship, or a parent who carves out time in a busy calendar to get to know their children better. It is not to establish relationship, but rather to grow in and enjoy an existing relationship. You see, Jesus did this, right? He was already the father's son, but he loved to find time to spend with his father. Mark chapter 1 verse 35 says, Before daybreak the next morning, Jesus got up and went out to an isolated place. Jesus loved to slip away 
to spend time with his father. Jesus was also always desperate for a quiet time. You see, after meeting someone like Uncle Andy, the song, Read Your Bible, Pray Every Day, made sense to me. You know that song, right? Read your Bible, pray every day, and you will grow, grow, grow. It is as simple as that. If you want to grow in this relationship that you already have through Christ Jesus, you need to create a rhythm or a habit of spending time with God in Scripture and in prayer. Reading your Bible and praying daily is a relational habit and not a religious duty. Now, here's the thing about habits. We become what we repeatedly do. James Clear, who is an expert in habit forming, says the following. What you repeatedly do ultimately forms the person you are. Your life today is essentially the sum of your habits. We become what we repeatedly do. Now, if so, who are you becoming? Looking at your current approach to time with God, looking at your current relational habits, who will you have become in 10 years from today? You see, your daily devotion to reading your Bible and your daily devotion to prayer will make you and change you into something truly beautiful. Your new identity in Christ will become a bigger reality in your daily living. It will become evident to other people that you are walking with Christ. Let me ask you this question. What would it look like if you spent just 20 or 30 minutes each day for the next 10 years of your life reading your Bible and praying? Imagine the, the spiritual giant that you would have become. Imagine the husband or the wife that you would have become. Imagine the parent that you would have been for your children in those 10 years. And imagine the depth and the intimacy of your relationship with God. Why don't you start today? It is now time for our group discussion. Please refer to the group discussion notes for this session. Bless you.